The idea behind it was to do two things, was to open up a pathway to an architectural career for students at Northwestern, and also to give engineers, should they continue as engineers, an experience with creativity. They've spent all their years answering questions that were very specific, and now here's an ambiguous question that uh, has many, many answers, and it's, it's a question of engaging their imagination, engaging their artistic skills, and seeing how much fun they can have. Solving real problems. The first quarter was pure imagination. It was a small space, 400 square feet or so, that would be a meditative space. So it meant it had a special character. It could be anywhere. It was their choice. There were no real restrictions, so in many ways it was harder because there was no limitation. The second quarter now, after exercising a little imagination, they then are given some, a problem which happens to be an architectural building on the west side of Sheridan Road across from uh, Tech here, but it had specific requirements. Six studios, a library, an auditorium, a computer lab, uh, social space, exhibit space, and uh, office for the enterprise. So now they have to deal in uh, actual requirements, including fire stairs and ceiling heights. So they're actually going to design a real building. Last quarter, I ended up making these arches in my building, which ended up being very troublesome for my project. So this time, I. You know, I forcefully said to myself, no arches. At this point, I'm trying to give it some flavor and try to make it more about the green space rather than the building itself. We're starting to look more at how does one space relate to other spaces. You know, you have different rooms, you have different requirements. So before it was just, okay, here's everything that you could possibly want, and now, now we're going to start giving you a little structure. Now you're going to have to fit in things that you need to use. It's difficult. I mean, for one person to try to design an entire building is a really big challenge, especially when you're thinking about how the structure works, how the space planning, mechanical systems, everything all together. But I think Larry and Scott have really helped us as we've gone along. I mean, we're not architects yet and we won't be when we graduate, but it's just kind of a good taste of what, what all goes into it. Third quarter, we're going to uh, do a tall building, a, a piece of design that requires uh, important structural input. So where engineering has a lead role in the, in the design. And so they'll have to deal with making a building stand up that may be 60, 70 stories tall. It hasn't been very hard to do this because the students are very, very bright and they're energetic. And, and we've, I think, tried to make the course uh, varied enough by bringing in other uh, professionals uh, speaking from experience, young architects, uh, structural engineers, clients, people that actually spend money building buildings. The most fun, I guess, is when uh, Professor Booth and some of the other professors and speakers that they bring in just start interacting. And you start hearing some of the real world insight. What we want engineers to do is to think creatively, to help solve the problems, to bring more to the design team than simply you know, calculus and, and solving formulas. We want them to solve conceptual problems and to be comfortable with it and to understand that that's, that's fun and it's also very, very important to be able to do uh, as an engineer.